I remember Armstrong when he walked up on the moon. Soon after that was Woodstock and Vietnam was in full bloom. The man who was in office was about to relocate, accusing him of burglary and they called it Watergate. Okay, here we go. Well, now the man that followed after him, his name was Gerald Ford. He granted Dick a pardon, but to keep from getting bored, he always had his hands full with his alcoholic wife. I guess I'm not the only one who didn't have a life. Then after four came Carter, right off the peanut farm. Interest rates, inflation, and the Soviets up in arms. Now I'm no politician, if I were I'd have to say, the hell with foreign policy, God bless the USA. Now we finally picked a winner, and he came from Hollywood. His name was Ronald Reagan, and he did the best he could. Now I know he was an actor, but at least he had some balls. By the time that he left office, there was no more Berlin Wall. All right, piano, let's hear some piano. You guys ready? Two, three. Now the next 10 years of presidents were a father and his son. And in between their offices, there stood another one. His name was William Clinton, and he didn't 